Hi, Gene. Uh huh. Tell the kids at home first what they're watching. Okay, you are right now watching the huge show. The um, huge inside look at chasing a dream. We speak to um, young comics. And, and what's your goal for today's conversation, well, Eugene? Well, I think today's conversation is just we're going to test out. We got in here in the new studio. We're going to test out the new cameras. We look like we lost you wanna, the signal on your camera. Do you want to uh, do? Okay. And for really, some possibly, and all the uh, stepping. I thought. I, I thought no, I don't think it was. was I don't high. think it was you. I think I have to figure out a way to set that so that it's not on um, uh, a power timer. save mode. All right. So um, that's that's. I don't. I don't. What do you say? You about. turn that on so okay. I have a camera. So, uh, for wow. A few minutes, <laughs> and uh, then we'll we'll. All right, we're, gonna, back. we're gonna just. There yeah, we come go. up with a goal here. Chester would like to join the show. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Hi, yes. Hey, baby. How you doing? Hi. Come on out here. No, we're going. Where y'all going? Huh? Right there. Oh, okay. Good to see you. And no, I don't always have Mexican. I'm for dinner. What are we having, Mexican? Again? What are we having, babe? I'm going to make those taco salads. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I had some sauces you it's made. Mexican Mondays at Eugene's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look good on that camera, Chuck. Look at that camera right there. I don't look wow. as good as your wife does. Hey. We love her. We love her. So. All right. Uh, uh, Eugene, um, show the kids the cameras. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have the uh, camera shot. Oh, the, oh, the go through the camera shots. Okay, hey, so that's Eugene. me. That's me up close with my brand new... Um, that's the Canon, what is that, the GLSR, anyway. Slow down, Eugene, and tell me about it, as if you own it and bought it. It's a really nice camera. The only reason that I, I got it inexpensively, because the tape, it's an old camera, it's about 10 years old. Yes. But the tape drive doesn't work on it. Correct. So I got it only for the digital signal, because we have the big box, the computer there. Sure. We Walk don't the new kids why they wouldn't need the tape anymore. Because um, all we need is digital. All we need is a digital signal to get it into the computer, and um, we What's can record. What's a digital it from there. signal, Eugene? Oh, sorry. Um, if if a camera, most of the new cameras now that you see, um, they they're HD, but they don't have an active live feed. Those plugins that you see plug into the computer mm -hmm. are usually just to transfer video from a dead camera, not while you're recording, from a dead camera onto a computer and then you can watch the video. As far as like live streaming, like plugging that thing into a computer and then turning on the play button and watching on the computer mm -hmm. what's happening in that camera, most of the new cameras don't do that. They've just, they, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's too expensive or what, but they just don't do that anymore. Okay. So they don't make a digital signal. The old cameras do. So what I went to look for was a professional old camera. And that's nice. what I found. An old professional camera that had a broken tape drive that I didn't really need, as long as it had a digital signal that I could get into the computer. Okay. And that's, that's what that camera is. That's and this that's one gives us an inside look. At a very inside look. I mean, that's a that's a tight ass shot right there. If you look into my um, what are, what other shots do we have? Go start with number one. Start with number one. That one there. Look at now that. That's that's a dead on. We should we should reset that. We should bring that down a little bit because that looks like I'm. I'm I'm you look like you're tall. about to uh, like I'm a kid, right? I'm announce just who you took hostage. Exactly. <laughs> that's, exactly right. what that, that's exactly what that is. Taliban like. leader Eugene is here. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly like what it is. That. Hey, get in there. I like that shot with you in it. Why don't you want to be in that? Because yeah. I don't want to be on the camera. There we go. And then we can get, yeah, I love that shot. Don't you like that shot? Yeah. Okay. So um, this is our digital. This is our digital shot with us in it. And um, then we have this is what I like to call the Chuck, Chuck camera. That's the Chuck Roy shot right there. Um, and that also is <laughs> That's a, how that goes. another professional camera with an optical zoom. An optical I, can, zoom I, uh, I can't zoom. seem to work the camera today. I want to raise this hand thinking that when I do this. It's going to be, oh, it's because it's be opposite. Over here. I got you. I got you. So yeah. Uh, instead, I pledge allegiance to a flag. <laughs> and this is to a flag. See? Flag. Flag. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So, uh, that's okay. Uh, I uh, I it's yeah. I'm in the so mood. hey, man. I mean, I don't, I don't really. We didn't really. I didn't plan a show. I know you. you I really? Show. Yeah. No shit. Sure. I didn't plan a show for you. Jane, tell Only the folks at home what it's like to have a podcast. Oh, it is. It, it, it switch is. to you. You got to switch oh. to you. you gotta see Sorry. You, you, here, you run. You run it. You, here, you got the buttons. Okay. Okay. So, um, which one are we on? Are we on the? We're on two now. 
Okay. And that, that one, one that one is right. one. So the, the thing about three. running a that's back over your shoulder, like if I'm talking to you. Uh, that's my shoulder. Yeah, I see that. The thing about running a podcast, um, and what I don't know what we call this. We're going to call this a video cast or a podcast or whatever. But the thing about what we're going to call it, um, you know, it's a whole lot of setting up and a whole lot of planning and getting everything done and, and you know, booking guests and, and all of that. So today, well, in my real life, we all have real life jobs. And um, in my real life job, um, today was my last day. Ah. Uh, yeah, on my, on my real life job. We so want to get into that. We, yeah. I definitely... Uh, Eugene got laid off. We had, a, we had a layoff coming, and so um, that's what's been going on for the last, um, you know, for the last month or so. We've known it was coming, so that's been distracting me as far as like getting things booked and, and getting shows booked, and, and so that's that's what I didn't get a I didn't get a guest book today, and I thought we'd just come on and you know you and I haven't seen you in a while. I just want to kind of kind of see you, see how you're doing. What's bullshit! Going on? I'm gonna scold you. I'm gonna scold you. This is bullshit. No guests. This okay. is, now you're getting grilled by a bear. That's, I, 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 that's, I can take that. I can mm-hmm. I can take that. I mean, I should have a guest. I mean, this is a this is an actual show, and we want to do a professional show. But you know, I I really do have to take the take the the bear. What, what does a bear do? The mauling. <laughs> this time. You have to take the responsibility um, to bear. Uh, t- I have to bear the responsibility. Ah, there you go. I got you. I got you. There so, it is. All right. So, yeah, that's what um, I will bear the responsibility on that. You should bear yourself in the frame. This is what are you Am doing? I, I didn't know it was going to be that tight. I can't I, move too much. No, you can't move. That tight. No, you can't move. No, you all right, all right. I needed to get okay. Uh, so for those of you who tuned in at the beginning, uh-huh. uh, and you had to deal with the terrible camera Hi. and all that, just so you know, uh, my camera, uh, beautiful shot two, is going to turn off. And that's well, I don't think it will now because I've turned on the record device. So I figure huh. if it's if it's recording. It should go all the time. Oh, okay. Now I should tell you what I was planning for the next time that shut off. Which were we were going to. I do? was going to suggest you turn the audio down just a little bit more because uh, it. Or you think it sounds like we're peaking? You think we're bouncing in high? And I bet you some people are peaked if we're peaking. Uh, let, yeah, you're right. Okay, let me walk over there and do that. Again. Eugene's going to walk over there, everybody. And I'm going to try to keep. Okay. The this is him walking, walking in front of there. beige storm. All right. And, and then uh, we're gonna, we don't have a studio see. shot. Maybe the director's there. booth, but. So I'm gonna grill you. How's it look over there? We're in the red or the yellow? Uh, I'm busy talking. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so I, I didn't want to uh, cut back I'm across gonna, the camera unless I'm necessary. Gonna grill Eugene uh, about not having a guest all while I listen to my audio and cover the show, uh, which is what you can do after oh, just 52 shit. weeks of watching the huge show. Uh-huh. Subscribe now by just watching. That's all you have to do, <laughs> and watch for 52 weeks in a row then you'll be able to know how to wing it when you have to cover a commercial break. Right. And today's commercial break was brought to you by my oh, wait, Spaghetti Western <laughs> promo video, which we're obviously gonna show oh, unobstructed yeah. at some point today, since we're doing this anyway. Okay, cool. So uh, Eugene's gonna bounce back through, and then I'm gonna find a way to compliment him oh, and, yeah. and criticize him, because that's, <laughs> That's okay. All right. That's probably the best. That's the best. That's a good job. I like that. All right. <laughs> Better shoot my crotch. <laughs> Why are we still bouncing so high on that? I, I don't know. That's so well. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna check out the mixer and see what's going on there. Okay. But that's still. I think we're doing okay now. That sounds just a little bit Does better. It? Okay. Cool. All right. So. See, I'm not talking. Uh, Is that the fan? Let it go. Stop talking. And we have plenty of fans and they make a lot of buzz. Or they drone on a little bit like <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I want to know uh, what you think you're going to see when you review this as far as the camera switching goes once it got good. Well, I think it's going to be great. I mean, that's what I think that we're going to, we're, we're in the new studio. We're looking, we're trying to figure out how things are going to work. And yeah. I think that, that things work well when you run the board. So far, so, we, we yeah, <laughs> this is an example things, of my failure. Things work so well. this would be what we hope to have as a master shot, somewhat conversational, yeah. and be able to introduce our guests. Right. And then this is the wrong camera shot. For it's the right button for, I wanted this shot. Okay. 
And that's an inside look at chasing your dream. Yeah, that's a very inside look at me. Look how we, close we could get. For, that's crazy. So, you got laid off. Yeah. Today was my today was my last day on my regular job. Um, been coming for about a little over a month now. It was a pretty sad day. You know, a lot of people crying. I mean, they, they actually outsourced my gig to um to Nashville, Nashville, yeah. Tennessee. So, fuck that noise. That's enough. Yeah. What um do you do now? Um, right now we're going, we're like we've been in the process of building out the studio this whole time, and right now we're going to build out the studio some more. And we are going to, um, you know, work with it. And we're going to. Where are you going to get money? Money will be coming from um, selling advertising on huge show, and also, you know, I, I doing shows, doing stand up around the country. I booked myself back out on the road for a little bit. So I think we should be fine. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to learn these buttons. Okay. So. Right. What are you going to do? When what? To make money. Um, I'm going to sell advertising on the huge show. So if you'd like to, um, you know, advertise on our show, you can look us up at, um, you know, hugeshow.com. Just send us an email to, um, you know, huge Chuck at huge show, Eugene at huge show. Anything basically at Ute Show. Just go to UteShow.com. How much do you think this costs you? And how much benefit do you think you can create? Well, um, I think that uh, the as far as the, the cost of this, um, I've done everything pretty much on the low. And I, I, really, wanted to, I really wanted to see if this was possible. Uh, for us to video cast our own stream that we own on our own website that we have we are beholden to no one for and um, nobody to nobody and so what would you do what would it cost you we, we grill everybody and so what would it cost you to, to pay yourself and operate this to make and, and then what would you want to make for money on that we're gonna we're, we're right now my, my goal right now is to try to generate somewhere around five to eight thousand dollars in a month yeah and if I could do that you know I mean that's that's where I want that's where I want yeah, to that's be. not a lot you know uh, uh, the public article says you know sexy pizza moved twenty four thousand dollars in advertising into stand-up comedy in Denver mm -hmm. So divide that by 12, that's 2000 a month. Right. So you'd want, you know, three sponsors like that to four, and you offer five commercial breaks. Right. That's, yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly the plan. I mean, the model is, is exactly that. Um, we want to do, I don't know if we want to do five commercial breaks to start, but I think we might want to do three or four. We need to clarify who the model is, and that's my boyfriend. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I threw a joke in there. I guess I was in there. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you. Uh, how much? How many? What would somebody need to get back if they're uh, spending two thousand uh, dollars in, in advertising? Well, we're going to have to generate. Um, if they're going to spend two thousand dollars with us, we're going to need to generate at least five thousand dollars worth of, of uh, sales for them to them yeah I mean we need we need for people to see our show to like our show to like what we do to understand that we need sponsors and we need for people to actually get up and go where our sponsors are and and actually you know use their products to actually go in if our sponsors are pizza then go in and get yourself a pizza if our sponsors are you know whatever whatever our sponsors sure. are let's, let's use the widget example mm -hmm. uh, from back to school uh, the economics class uh, and your average uh, first year college economics textbook mm -hmm. uh, how many widgets would somebody have to sell uh, the manufacturer is uh, say a bar selling beers. The beer is a widget. Uh, right. So if a bar is selling a, a $3, you call it special, uh, and they want to generate $6,000 worth of revenue, right. then the bar has to sell, what's that, 2,000, you call it specials. Right. In the month or in the week of advertising. So that, Boy, that sounds like a tough 
amount of widgets to make sense. But if you to make the I use the example of a beer, mm -hmm. and that's the fail point in the sale. Like the my example, uh, who would have about two thousand widgets to sell at three bucks? Well, around here, um, you know, I'm looking at entertainment the, companies, the entertainment Netflix, companies. I'm looking at the uh, college markets, the, the, I'm looking at movies. The, uh -huh. You know, so if we grew our audience to you know, a size where 3,000 people would activate on a buy so-and-so's mm -hmm. comedy DVD. Right. Uh, then we'd probably be able to gain, you know, the advertising. If somebody knew they spend $2,000 to advertise on huge and they're going to sell $5,000 worth of DVDs, it's a no-brainer almost. Exactly. If, they, you know, they're return, if they're, if they're, they but make 5,000, they, they make profit. But we have profit. to have a product to do that. We have, to, we have, before they're going to do that, we, we need the views. Do, yeah, we need the views. We need people. It is very, very important for people to click on and, you know, to view it when we, when we post up. It's very, very important for people to subscribe, hit the like button. That's important. Um, you know, go to Facebook and repost us and go to Twitter and, you know, repost us. I mean, it, it's, it's very important that people get active in what we do. And I, I, I believe they will. I think that I think I, I notice I get less Facebook activity. Do you think I'm failing at Facebook by posting jokes of, you know, my jokes or is Facebook getting less of an audience? I think that um, Facebook is getting much, <laughs> much less than an audience. Much less of an audience. So, you, I think that that how do you, 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 we use, you use fail Facebook as our marketing point? We can't be Facebook. We can't, we can't be Facebook only. I mean, Facebook has got, Facebook has to be part of our marketing point. I mean, but they, they can't be all of it. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. they don't, they're not it anymore. I mean, there's, there's a multitude out there. There's, there's Vine, there's Reddit, there's, there's all the things that we need to be on. There's, uh, and, you know, and whatever's next. Do, do we need to be on those things? I do. I think so. I think so. Because I think that um, for the input, uh, I mean, for the, for the outlay of energy that it takes to be on, like, let's say, a Vine, um, the, if you get one viewer, if you get two viewers, you know, out of that spot, then it was worth the output because two viewers over and over and over again, they're going to tell their friends, they're going to post. You know, I think that the trick, the trick to what we do is to reach out and find viewers and then create major um, word of mouth. Because, you know, before you can get word of mouth, you got to get eyes. And okay. Did I have the camera on you or me when I was fidgeting with my earpiece? I think it was both of us. I think it was the, the long view of both of us. Okay. Damn, that's a tight shot. It's good. I yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I like I have to look to you left, and then my monitors are here on the right. It's, oh, but uh, believe me, it's a pleasure. It, you know, I can get just, it. I can get it. I just no. I'd rather guess what camera. I know. What it, you're quit your quit your, No, no. There's no way you could put the monitor right there right now. I don't know what you're fussing oh, oh. with the mouse. Sorry. You have to physically move a monitor there. Because I did this. Do you, can you tell I'm a grumpy bitch? What happened? Okay, we we totally lost focus. <laughs> I need you back. You did it. You. I did need it. you back. I need. Okay. You. Quit clicking. With what? What are you clicking for? Oh, sorry. The people who want to talk to you. Oh, okay. So I need to get the video thing back instead of. Well, you're the one who suggested you needed that. I'm sorry, but I, I can understand. take. I, understand. I can take this now. I, I, I need, you need to take another grill. I'll there we go. Back. But that's that's as good as I can do it. Sorry. Now you did great. Okay. That was wonderful. <laughs> we worked out together. Good God, well. look at me, man. I'm looking at myself in that monitor over there. And, and Wow. But I do like the studio. Look at this. Look at our background. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And we have, we built this out. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with this. I think that this is, this is going to be what we go forward with. So well, no shit. Yeah. Uh, you want to read? We should build it somewhere else. Uh, what are you, my railroad? Uh, so tell me about you, man. What do you no, about you, Chuck? No, no, whoa, whoa, no, whoa. no, no, why can't, why no, you talk about no. Chuck? Inside look at your dream. Uh, uh, well, this is an inside look at my dream because we are looking at my dream. What we're doing right now is my dream. A year ago. Are or, you scared today? Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a little nervous. Today. A little. <laughs> what uh, what would be the thing you're scared most about? Huh? 
Um, well, I think the thing that, that I'm scared about all the time, failure, you know. Um, I failed, I don't, I don't want to, you know, failure scares me. It doesn't scare me to the point that it stops me from attempting things. But, you know, you have to be a little fearful. You have to. This is a this is a big investment for you me. You have no choice. You 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 could have you could have gone for a job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I why could. why not a job? Why this? And I'm and I'm not it's not really not a job. I mean I'm not really saying that I'm not gonna ever have another day job. That's sure. that's not what I'm saying right now. But what I'm saying right now is um, you know, this is my moment. This is this is I have had um, done stand up comedy. You know, for about almost thirty years now. Yeah. And um, throughout most of that thirty years, there's been a day job. You know, I come. What back in town. is your goal? The goal is to to inform, entertain, inform young comics, entertain. And so, to round out the six thousand person number, mm -hmm. by the way, because uh, uh, I, I we do need six thousand people. Right. To, to uh, you know, or, or whatever those numbers are, uh, you know, we need viewers starting with one. Right. We, we get 100, 200 viewers a week that watch all 60 minutes. Right. Every single minute. Right. Mm -hmm. And comment back to us and tell this that is useful. Mm -hmm. That is better than my jokes blog. So we're, you know, for me, I get a return on investment mm -hmm. that, you know, it, it, my time here, I know it's worthwhile. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what, who's your audience and how many of them do you think there are globally? There, are, well, I know the audience is, there's millions of them. I think that the, um, the immediate audience is gonna be, young comics and the people that young comics surround themselves with or the people that surround young comics. How many people do you think watch the show a week? We we just got our thousandth view. We've been on the air how many shows have we done? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, probably twenty five, thirty shows. And so we've got a thousand views out of twenty five, whatever the math on that does. But we get we get a relatively good amount of viewers every week, but we haven't been on for the last four weeks. This has been this is our first broadcast in four weeks because, you know, we um we looking we were looking for a venue. We were at R East Tavern, and thank thank you so much R East Tavern for letting us um use your space and, and starting this show and developing what we wanted to do here. And um really really appreciate that. But we were looking for you know we were looking for a venue that um wasn't going to be a hassle for anybody. And so we, we, we built this out in, 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 you know, the garage behind my house is, is where the studio is that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, what, so. it, it, again, what's your, what is your audience? How many, how many open micers, how many people do you think watch the show in a given week? In a given week, we'll probably get 40, 40, 50 views. And, um, how many people come back and watch the show? Those are, those are returns. I mean, we're, you're talking, um, we're probably getting 40, 50 return visits in a week. People come to our website. So people that's the Denver Marketplace. Right. People don't just come to our, our uh, live show. People come and watch the archives. People come to the website, and they do a whole lot of, you know, watching other shows. You know, people are, I guess that, you know, comics that have been on, have their friends have told them about, you know, have they told their friends about the show, and they've, you know, they've come on. And so they Comedians. The Comedians mm -hmm. watch the show. Yeah. And they get advice. Yeah. And right so there. normally there's a chair right there with a comic in it, with a young comic in it, but not this week. But well. Yeah. So Denver has about how many people? Oh, the population? Yeah. I'm not sure. It's, I'm not sure what the population of Denver is, to be honest with you. Roughly one million? Yeah, about a million people. Okay. How many comedians do you think are in Denver? Well, here's what I know. I know that um, I don't really know what the c number of comics is, but I know that um, um, last time that they had the um, funniest person in Denver competition, which is basically new comics that haven't got on the list, that haven't you know that haven't um, worked their way up in town, that are working their way up in town. And the last time that they had that competition, they had over 160 people apply. 
Okay, so that's 160 people got involved with one of the local comedy right. clubs. Mm -hmm. Big contest for the amateurs. Right. What? So 160 mm -hmm. out of a city of about a million. Right. Let's say there's 200 comedians. Okay. In a city, you know, w w people who are actively or if habit comics that want to keep up. Mm -hmm about 200 uh, comedy fans in the city how many comedy fans do you think there are in the city uh, thousands maybe. Uh, I mean million okay. you know it's got to be up to close uh, easily easily a half million you know? yeah yeah 70 percent of the population yeah, likes I mean, comedy oh, yeah. generally and the comedy radio station mm -hmm. you know they're pulling down huge numbers I'm sure so that tells you your total, like if someone were considering buying advertising, they could consider the comedy radio station. That'd be a great piece of advertising mm -hmm. for somebody in the city of Denver. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were going to micro-target, right. you'd show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about why someone would micro-target with you'd show. Well, I think that um, someone would, would want to, you know, not just target fans of comics which is basically on um, the comedy radio station you know you get you get your fans and people yeah. want to this is a show for comedy nerds we're and, and comedians nerds. that want to know and how to do it we are a show for the families of comics i mean a lot of a lot of times you'd be surprised at how often people get the question of in in this business you know what are you trying to do you know i mean what what it, you know when are you going to get a real job you know i i, I want to try to I want to try to make sh make sh not make sure, but I, I want to try to explain to people that a lot of times people in this business you don't, you don't have a choice that you know you, you can not do this. You know, I mean, if if it's in you and you find it and you're lucky enough to find it, if it's in you, then you need to do this. You need to be a comic. You need to you need to um, to get up on stage. You need to have people looking at you. And and a lot of times family can't understand that. I mean, I come from a small town in, in, in North Carolina where, you know, people don't, people don't point at themselves. The last thing you do is point at yourself. Mm -hmm. And I've always been, the first thing I do is point at me. You know, if... How many people, how many towns do you need to watch this show? If Denver has one million people, 200 comics, you know, 700,000 fans, and you get mm -hmm. 40 views out of all of that, now, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I need let's to say just here in Denver, you could get up to 100 views a week. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get to 6,000. How many cities would you have to add? Well, you know, I'd have to add, you know, it's at 6,000. You know, I'd have Is that to 60 add or 600? 60. 60. It'd be 60. It'd be 60. But um, 60 cities, and, and, you know, that's that would be the number that I was looking for. Actually, 59 if I've already got Denver. But... You know, 60 more cities, but I mean, I want this show. So New York, LA, everywhere. Chicago, yeah. everywhere. I mean, but uh, that's London, Omaha. There's Omaha. comics from Kansas exactly. already. I mean, they're coming there are here towns, to Denver. There are towns like Colorado Springs. People last night town. I did a show. Last night I did a show with three comedians. You know, two from LA, one from Nebraska. They were all traveling across. They started their weekend or ended their weekend at Growlix. They were each okay, headed. Right. Mm -hmm. They were crisscrossing. They knew each other from LA. Right. And they had done Growlix, or were going to do who's and who you are know, they? too do much you know fun. Their names? Jesus, no. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, am a dick this weekend. I don't know what you <laughs> want me to do. Uh, uh, no, be chuck. But be chuck. I'm, I'm happy to be me. Uh, so, s I, 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 60 cities, how would you, uh, what would be your plan to do that? How well, would you get? The plan right now is to um, tomorrow morning. Um, because what I've done so far is um, the entire plan. I mean, I, to be honest with you and the fans, is that I believe that I went live with what I want to do too soon. But that being said, what do you, you know, mean too soon? Because I didn't have, I didn't have all this arranged. I didn't have, I didn't have all the cameras. I didn't have all the knowledge that I need. I didn't have, um, you know, I didn't have space secured. That do the forty viewers care about the backdrop? I don't. I don't think so, but it was just getting this together and trying to to produce a show hmm. was a little bit overwhelming. That's all. You, you want to get real critical on you, or can we be positive and move on? 
No, I think we want to be positive and move on. Because I could get real critical. I know. I mean, you've been here. You've seen it. You've seen it. No, I just can get critical. I know. You're, you're <laughs> <laughs> but, but you've seen it. And, uh, you know, I think that, I think that now... I, I think that now to here, I think I'm in a comfortable spot. I think that I'm. From, so the from this forty day viewers, forward. the view, forty viewers stay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they they come back, they right. watch because the show is useful. Oh, by the way, we're going to be doing a um, a uh, Friday night showcase at R H Tavern um, the next Friday on the ninth. Is it? Yeah, great. And when you're more prepared, <laughs> we'll do the advertising. But I'm doing the interviewing right now. Uh -huh. uh, what is? <laughs> You, you, so that's a, we, we've established a goal. Mm -hmm. You get to get to 60 markets. Right. Uh, we tick tock 10 in a second. Uh, a comedian could simply post a poster at their open mic, and that would help us out. Yeah. In a huge way. Oh, yeah. Anywhere in the city. I mean, anywhere in the country. I mean, if you, if you could do us um, the favor of putting up a, a huge show poster for us anywhere. Um, we would be glad to send you out a huge show poster, you know, or, you know, send you out the, um, what is it, the flyer, the electronic flyer, and we'll, pr or we'll print them out in, your, in the hometown of where you are. Mm. We'll have them printed out, but if you'd like to do that for us, anybody, I mean, we, we, we're just starting. We are, we are, uh, we are fledglings. We are. How many flyers does it take to, know, you know. There's a flyer right there. Hit all the open mics in the city. How many flyers? How many posters, flyers um, does it take? I to be honest with you, I, I don't know. I mean, this is day one. This is so day one. So if you were to so put a poster up at all the open mics in mm -hmm. the city, how many posters would you need? You'd probably need, um, in this city, you'd probably need 25, 30 posters. 25, 30, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, uh, this could be marketed real easily. Mm -hmm. And the viewer gets something unique from it, like comedy advice. Right. Yeah. So, do you want to talk about your comedy? Yeah, um, yeah. Talk about my comedy. What do you want to talk about my comedy, Chuck Roy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about my comedy? Tell you something about it? Don't just stare at me. <laughs> I think that, uh, uh, yeah, I want to talk about my comedy. My comedy is, um, has, has saved me a million times in my lifetime. I mean, comedy, before I was a comic, I was a comedian. I mean, I was, I was the guy in school that, uh, you know, I, I, you know I, didn't, I didn't bow to peer pressure because I was the funny guy. I was, you know, I, I was that guy. There was never... Um, What's your act about? My act is, is about me. My act is, is, is pretty much observational comedy. Um, you know, where I come from, what I've seen. Um, no, it's my life. What are the pressures on your act? Well, the pressures on my act now are basically um, at, at this age is, you know, writing new material that's relatable to an audience that is changing. Why audience. is age relevant to because the audience that's because changing? Because it's, it's, when I did the Boulder Comedy Club with you, the Boulder Comedy, the Boulder Comedy Show with you, you know, and you look out there and it's a sea of, and I don't, and I don't say it negatively, um, a sea of children. You know, Bullshit. I mean, these, yeah, Bullshit. these could, have been, these could be my kids. I just did last night. I get it. I get what you're right. saying, but uh, I get it, but and this is an excuse. No, no, no. I'm not giving an excuse. I'm saying you asked me what, you asked me what the fine. challenge is. I'm fine. You asked me what the challenge so is. So the challenge is you see children, and uh, I say it's uh, not children, but go ahead. It is uh, children. It is, it, is a changing, it is a changing audience and being relatable to a changing audience. As and so you find that challenging? I, I think that every comic finds that challenging. What's the challenge? Relating to. You know, I, I don't know, um, you know. What I are don't you have afraid a, of? I don't have a Reddit joke. What are you afraid I don't have, you know, I don't have, whatever the next thing is, whatever the kids are on to right now, I don't have a joke about that. The last and joke so I have. Do you think that's what the kids are looking for from you? They're not from me, but I think the kids are looking for relatable material. What does the audience want from you when you play the Boulder Comedy Show? jokes you know the, the and I, I do my general act for them yeah you know I mean I have I have a general act that works for it no matter no matter red yellow black white or brown would you let us ever le let a guest say something like I have a general act um 
no, but you so know, now go but now no, no. tell me. But now we, tell we me. would never have a guest sitting in that chair that has thirty years of experience. Sure. You know, I mean, I do have a general. So idea. Get, uh, this is uh, this guy situations. said to me, and this is this. Now you're at the core of uh, you have a general act, which is a stop laughing. No, it's a no. true statement. It's not. It's not. A joke. I was de- I was described as a '90s comic. I heard you, you say that I heard in you a tell me complimentary you way, uh-huh. and uh, I, I'm a '90s comic. Right, you are a '90s comic. Right, yeah. What would be your challenge of being? I, I mean, I I'm a '90s comic, but I tell jokes in 2014. And I'm touring in 2015 with the Filthy Animals tour in 2014, but then my own one-hour special, I tour with that through 2015. So I need fresh material. That's my need. And who are the Filthy Animals? Ralphie May. Gotcha. Corey and Chad. Mm Mm-hmm. One more. Danielle Stewart. There we go. Billy Wayne Davis. And? Ah, yeah. Chuck Roy is a Filthy. (laughs) (laughs) What? could you talk about in 2014 that would be relevant to people today? Um, therein lies the challenge, you know. And what and is I, general material? Well, here, when I say when I say general material, I'm, I'm talking about material that will we'll go over. If someone says to me, look, I don't want you to do, I don't want you to, to do anything that's provocative. I don't want you to do, you know, like a corporate gig. Oh, so a gig that pays money right. a significant amount of right. money. Right, uh-huh. Okay. And I have, I've so then the person paying money has expectations that, say, a skinny jeans coffee house might not. Right, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So I, I'm being a dick. I told you I was but a no, dick. But no, no, I mean, I understand that. But, but you know, we're, uh, we're talking about me now. I yeah. Mean, I don't, I but don't do a I want you to ask shop. me. I know that, but you play them and you're bothered about how your set goes at them. So what I want to know is what is a 90s comic? What define what my com- uh, style of comedy is, that 90s shit? I, I don't know what you're, I, I don't know what defines a 90s comic. For me, um. I'm an, I'm not a '90s comic. I'm I'm an even further back than that comic. What decade are you? I'm an '80s comic. Say it again. I'm an '80s comic. I mean, I I put the jacket on back when when in the '80s. It was an act in the '80s. You wrote you yeah. wrote an act. I don't have an I don't have an act anymore. You're right. I do not have an act. I have a show. It was an act when I was young, and I think that a lot of comics that sit down with us, they have an act and they're working on an act, but eventually. They'll work on a show. What's which is the t- difference oh between you, you say act and show? I I agree. You, there's mm-hmm. a difference. It's a fine observation. Just explain it to me, please. Well, I think that you know, an act is exactly what it sounds like. An act is, is an act. An act is something that you're putting on. That hey, this happened to me. Um, um, Kronberg is Kronberg. Krom- that's a hell of an act. Or, and it's also legitimately him. Right. It's Kronberg has a hell of an act. Um, as far as. You know, as far, as far as his act goes. And, yeah, I use him because we mm-hmm. both know him. He's popular. Right. If you need He's to, right you could hashtag him this week. A hell of a comic to talk about as far yeah. as art goes. And a great definition of By something the way, that's like... Fuck you, Ben Kronberg. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Go fuck go yourself, f- Ben. Yeah. Uh, Give me that camera. Go fuck yourself, Ben Kronberg. Thank uh, you very much. Go fuck yourself, Ben. <laughs> He's great. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, uh, I did, you know, would gladly... I, we, I hire him, and uh-huh. I've seen him... You know, right. fail, and I've seen him super succeed, mm-hmm. and I hire him when I book a show because I know that the audience needs that. Right. They, they need to run through uh, the, an act. The thing that, that I like about Kronberg's act. What, what, what was the person saying? Were they insulting me when they said '90s comic? I believe they were trying to, but um, you know, because that's what. You, just because of, you told me who it was, you know, as a, as a kid. And, you know, kids don't say nice things these days. But, <laughs> you know, but, yeah, I, th- I think that that, that might have been meant to you as, as an inf- insult. But um, just getting back to Kronberg, I think. Well, no, I'm, no, no. What's a 90s comic? I don't. I think. I'm, I think. I don't know. I, I think. I mean, it would be bits and chunks. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, that's how we wrote. We did bits, chunks, and then you put a set list together. Right. Mm-hmm. And then you had your set, and you did your 45 minutes, and but it almost didn't change word for word. You had tags and 
yeah. things that went one word right after the other and that is definitely no longer the norm though i mean that is definitely i mean the younger comics are doing a, a totally different thing I can't no 2002 yeah. you know i started hitting open mics with mm -hmm. zero I'd, I'd walk in with stuff i started writing at four o'clock in the afternoon yeah I, I can't tell you how many comics now they do that it's like so so what are you gonna do now that's what i wanted to get to now like it, it, it's you know the the act is there anytime you have a corporate gig right what are you gonna do to enjoy the boulder comedy show differently the next time you go there what, what would um, be a goal just what would make you enjoy that set I, well, when I say when I say I didn't I didn't relate to it, they didn't relate to me. That that has nothing to do with what I enjoyed. I had sure, a time. sure. But I, it, it, I go ahead, the, it, relate or uh, correct my direction yeah, there. Yeah. I, I, I think you know what state. I'm driving. I do. At. I do. What would be a fulfilling set at a place like the Boulder Comedy Show? Well, um, you know, sustained laughter. I think that um, I, I I think that for me. I, I want to I want to throw something out there that's that's today that's relatable that's 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 now, you know, that's not. You know. So today you're out of a job. Mm -hmm. Are you competing with those kids for jobs? No. No. They might be competing with me for a job. I mean, is it a, that's a, you know, I like that competitive spirit, but is there, how could you, I mean, it's summertime. It's not the time to talk about job searching. Mm -hmm. Right. Answer that. What would you, you're, you want to be talking the truth. What would be topics you'd want to talk about right now? Or is that, is that even a goal? Well, it, it is a goal, but I mean, it's, it's a goal for, you know, for, like I said, Today is today is step one. Today yeah, is today. I, I, I had questions <laughs> pre-written down when right. I stopped for a cheesesteak for a guest that I thought was. I understand it. I understand so it. So now you're getting grilled with no, the no, no, hope I, and I, dream I, chase I, I completely, line of I questions. Completely understand. So, uh, what would be a successful set list of topics? So you don't have to tell me the jokes, but tick off five topics that you would love for the Boulder show to laugh about. Um, I'd like to do a the bit The fact that you're out of, uh, out of work yeah, today. I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to do a, a bit about being out of work about, um, I'm gonna do, but this is not this is not particularly for the Boulder audience. I, I'm, I'm doing a lot more um, well, could material you, could now Could you relate to how you and Ray get along better and mm -hmm. that, that he's the same age as Boulder Comedy Show or a little bit younger than them? Right. Yeah, I that agree. would give the audience superiority. The audience would be like, "Oh, we're two years older than him. We know what's coming." Right, right. Okay. Couldn't you yeah. do it that way? I, I could. I had, I hadn't really looked at it that way. But yeah, that's that's an angle that I hadn't looked at. But that's what um, I wanted to get into. Now that you have no job and <laughs> just a you know useless comedian, what are you gonna do? I think the battery died over there. Oh, damn it. Well, damn it. that's cool. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? What am I going to do? For writing jokes. Well, um, how will you calm down? Like, how you're going to be panicked. How will you calm down? I'm, I'm not going to be panicked. I'm, you're on a dead signal. Um, I'm not going to be panicked because I'm, I'm not a... That's nearly not what I do, man. I mean, I have never... <laughs> I, I think, we're, I think the, the battery signal. died. <laughs> I never know until I check. Everybody, we... Okay, we might be back up. All right, there we go. Next week on Yud Show, we do an episode on preparedness. Yeah, but we will be prepared. Preparing Next week, I'll for be the gig. Brought to you by Eugene Kenny. We have been we have been laid off. Oh, see the camera. Okay, so that died. So here's the deal. Um, I think that we have done. You know, 50 minutes in, we should close out. No, and answer your question. We will do what? What is your set going to be about? Now? I don't know. I mean, I don't have an answer for you, Chuck. I don't know what my set's going to be. I mean, I, I really don't have any idea what life is going to be beyond today. I like how you just thought you could dodge this question, but then you realized it's me and we're alive. I'm not trying to dodge it. No, you're not. So uh, I get it. But you, uh, you were... I, just, I, I relate to you because I've been where you're at, and I both. think you're... <laughs> you have every right to be nervous and or scared uh, and so in those situations 
you know, what would cause you to want it to sit down and write mm -hmm. instead of get up and earn some money to feed the baby, you know? Well, I mean, I've always done that. That's what I do. I mean, I sit, my money comes from writing <coughs> all my life. That's, that's, <coughs> that's the way I make my money. So um, being out of a day job is, is not terrifying to me. It just means I have to do what I've always done. I mean, I, I stopped going on the road, you know, and, and writing so much because I, you know, I wanted to stop and take some time and be with my family here in Denver, and we just moved to Denver, and so I wanted to stop and, you know, and raise my kid, but my kid now is, is 18 years old, and we can, you know, I'm, I'm going to do what I do. This is this is what I We've do. We've talked this about this, that your kid would be, mm -hmm. you know, older right. four or five years ago. Exactly. Renewable Energy Comedy Show. Way I back when, when we, when we were doing a Renewable Energy Comedy Show, and you were, we were talking about, you know, why are you in town? What are you doing here? What and was it like for comics like you and Stephanie? So what were the common agonies of being a parent trying to compete well, I think and be there for you can't, games. You can't, be com you can't compete and be there for games. You have to, at some point, you have to stop um, and, and look at how much road work you're going to do. I mean, look at, look at Rocky. You know, Rocky was just on, on Last Comic Standing. I've known Rocky. Rocky Laporte? Rocky Laporte. I've known Rocky all my life. Wow. Um, and, you know, Rocky's been on the road since I've known him. You know, and, and that was the thing when they were on Last Comic Standing. That's the first thing out of his kid's mouth was, you know, um, you know, we love our dad, and we've had to give up some things because he wasn't here, and he had to miss some things because he wasn't here. And that's those are decisions that you really have to make. I mean, this this business is not, you know, all laughs and, and, and you know, jokes and, and yeah, good times. Yeah, I, you know, I can give empathy. Life. I can give empathy. My dad had a three-week three, three of... Uh, uh, a month travel schedule as a corporate educator right. and someone s traveled to sell those gigs in advance of him so uh -huh. someone else was you know hitting the bricks as well right so you know I don't want to I, I don't want to I don't want to give comics a lot of room when it's mm -hmm. like the job is tough. The job well, is as I'm, tough as other jobs, but I, I'm and then it fucking doesn't saying, pay. I'm, like not other jobs. Just, I'm not saying just the job is tough. The job is tough. The job is the job is tough. The job doesn't pay well. And when you're the job takes the best years you have. I mean, the job takes your twenties mm -hmm. and your thirties while you're on the road building a career, and so. Whatever your life plan was for those years, if you had in that life plan, you know, watching your kids, seeing every soccer game, or watching, going, you and your wife hanging out, and, and you know, and, and doing things on the weekend, having a garden, or, or you know, the, that's not the life that you're going to have if you're a road comic. I mean, it's just not. You, 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 might get, you might get famous. You might get a lot of money. You probably won't, but you might get a lot of money. But like Howie Mandel said, you know, they don't pay me to go on stage. They pay me to leave my family. Mm, that's why I that's make true. so much money, is because they pay me to miss my daughter's college event. They pay yeah. me to miss my son's little league. Yeah. They come make them laugh. That's, that's this business. This business is, is, is some of the best moments in your life that you're ever going to have, followed by 30 minutes later, you're sitting in a hotel room with nobody to tell about it. Yeah. Empty. And, and you're in the middle of nowhere. You don't know anyone. You, your options are go out and drink with some people that you don't know or go back to your room and, and tell yourself, you know, relive that amazing time yeah. that you just had. But Right now, I have no input. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that was the no that's input cool. signal. <laughs> no input but yeah, that's, that's, that's his business. I mean, and I, I love this business. I really do. I love telling jokes. There's so nothing. where would you go on the road? Um, you know, comedy clubs. Uh, cruise ships, the your basic comic gigs. If I, you know, if, if that's what I want to do, if that's if that's what I want to do. What but would be that's not what really would be what your act do. if you went on a cruise ship? What would you talk about now? Um, I mean, are you still going to do a little, if, you know, a little plane a behind ship, a big plane? Yeah. If I went on a cruise ship, a cruise ship for me basically would be. Um, um, God, I don't even. I don't want to say cheating I don't want to say stepping back but for me a cruise ship might just be stepping back because the audience on a cruise ship is me I wouldn't have a problem at all relating to an audience on a cruise ship and I can do I could do a I could do jokes on a cruise ship from two three four years ago 
You know? Sure. So sure. it's really not stretching me. It's just working. Okay. You know? Let's get to that because it's uh, an '80s comic or a '90s comic in today's era has, I think, a hard time letting go of the bits. I think so too. I, well, I think that any anybody in any job has a hard time of letting go of what has been successful for you. I mean, if you are a programmer with Microsoft, if you've been programming in the same language for the last ten years, you know, Oracle. And, if you're, right, you know, you know, and, and somebody and comes along and says, Google "Hey, language. the new language is coming along, and the kids want to take over with the new language," you know. It's are hard. you hearing the news? Is there? Do you have to learn a new language with comedy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely have to learn. A new language what is that new language? Well, if that's, and I think that I only have to learn a new language with comedy if I want to follow the road of being a stand-up comic full time. You know, I, I don't know how much I want to do that. Three. Anymore. What things could you do with this show to set a meter for yourself? And show well, your own growth. I want to use this show. I want to use this show as a jumping-off point where, um, you know, if you like what I do, if you like Huge, if you like Eugene Kenny, um, if you like Chuck Roy, if you like anybody that's going to be on our station, and this is not going to be the only show on HugeShow.com. I mean, we're going to have um, several. When shows. is your next Boulder show? The 16th. And when is your next Ari show? The 9th. What jokes could you? What set list? And, and you know, would you be able to record then? Yeah. And then how could you record, you know, mm -hmm. when would you have, w when would you have to have more material recorded? Well, I will, um, this one on the 16th, the Ari show is really not me. I mean, it's, it's a showcase of young comics. So, so you, but you have a chance to go up there to go and up tell and do some, some jokes. Do some so material, you could do, some material. you could do any jokes you wanted. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you'll bring tape of that back. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, and we'll show it here. Uh, okay. Because you almost dodged that. What do you mean? Like you, you were almost going to not produce any tape at Ari's. Oh, no, no, no. I want to produce a ton of tape at Ari's. I want to live stream Ari's. I want, I want, I want this. The yeah, show at Ari's tape will for be yourself. Tape oh, yeah. for okay. I'm still grilling him. We do two minutes left and then we're yeah. done. The tape, I mean, I want to do, I want to do a show at Ari's. Why is this fun? Did huh? you? Yeah, enjoy the hell out of this. What? Would How you can I not do? enjoy this? There's cameras pointing at me. What them. about me? Uh, Boulder? Do you have an idea of what set you could do? What, what, summer in for Boulder? Yeah, I haven't really, um, yeah, I haven't really put together the, thought about the set yet, but um, I will. We'll do it. We'll be live barbecuing next and grilling. Yeah, and we'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, it'll be summertime set. What Colorado. did you learn today? I learned I should have booked a guest. <laughs> 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 but uh, I, I I I learned a little bit today. I think I, I, I you helped me focus on some stuff. Isn't that what the show is? Yeah, that's exactly what the show is. Thank you. I, I mean, that's 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 what the show is meant to be. What's an inside look at your dream? Um, my dream has changed. I mean, my dream was simple when I was young. My dream was I wanted to be Elvis Presley. Simple as that. That was when I was six. That's my plan. Um, then I grew up and I wanted to be Michael Jackson. Who are and you now? Now I'm Eugene Kenny. But I um, I did. Uh, and what know, does Eugene Kenny have? What do you mean? What does he have? He has a he has this. He has you show. He has a uh, he has a uh, thank you. He has a, you know, and he also has a pretty good life. I mean, you know, I mean, I look around at what at what we do, and I look at these cameras. And I look around at, at the you know we live stream and and we we're, we're trying to push the envelope a little bit of what what you can do here in in stand up. And I I think I like it a lot. Are you proud of this episode? I am, I, am, I am proud of this episode. I am proud of this episode, and um, I'll be prouder of it when I, you know, look at it. And we're gonna post this tonight. So, do we have a guest um, for next week? Me, I'm the guest for this show. Next me, week, me in the studio. No, we don't have a guest for next week yet, but we will definitely have a guest next week, and we're gonna put it out early in advance on on the show. So, and how can someone get themselves booked on the YouTube? They show? can contact uh, me at uh, Eugene at youtshow.com that's e-u-g-e at e-u-g-e n-e eugene at youtshow.com and uh, could you please give that address again eugene so we can reuse that it. is eugene at youtshow.com eugene okay. at youtshow.com could you e -U -G -E tell us -E. what you're looking for in a guest we want young well i keep saying young new comics 
what, what the interesting, our show is, is new comic focused. Our show is based on new comics. Our show is about new comics. Our show is for new comics. And if you are a new comic anywhere, if you even if you're hearing us and you're not in Denver, Colorado, please hit us up with a hit, hit me up with an email or hit me up on Facebook because we have the ability to live stream you into this show. Are so. you going to be able to fix the glare on your eyeglasses? Yes, yes, we're going to figure that out. This is my first day with the new glasses. I'm looking at it. And it's like, wow, check that out. Or I could just do that. And now, if I don't want to actually see, oh well, that's done. No, I like these. Okay, buttons. we have to sign. We'll figure that out. Okay. We uh, enjoyed talking to you. Tell them goodbye. Hey, goodbye. Thank you for watching, huge. Um, we'll see you next week. And really, like our show. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe if you get a chance. Um, hit us up on Facebook. It is very, very important. We, we really like doing this. We really like talking to young comics. We really hope that our show is is an asset to you and, and everybody around you. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. You have to undo all oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. You did great. Chuck Roy. Say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. That was your show. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. This is him signing everything out. I'm, I'm totally done covering it.